Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with Coded Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a little swinging trap in ACF, which does damage every time it passes you. I'll also set it so that the camera doesn't flicker whenever it crosses through you. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click in my content folder, click blueprint class and select an actor. And I'll just call this something like swing axe trap. I'll click enter to go into it to open the blueprint editor. And what I'm going to want to do is just add a static mesh and this will be called axe. And I'm just going to select a swing axe. In this case, I'll be using the polygon dungeons pack because their asset looks nice and they have something like this. And all it's going to do is just rotate this way and just swing constantly. And let's set that up. So I'm just going to hit compile, save event graph and on begin play, I'm going to drag this out and open or start a timeline. And I'll just leave this as timeline and I'll double click to go into it and I'll add a length of three seconds It's going to have a full one side to another. And I'm going to click on this loop button so that it just goes on forever. And then I'll click plus track to add a float track and I'll just leave the name as is. And I'll hit shift left click to add a dot and I'll call this, I'll start this from the time of seven zero. So this will be on start and the value will be negative 70 in this case. And now I'll shift left click again and I'll do something in that middle mark. So it's going to be 1.5 seconds and the value will be positive 70. And then I'll shift left click again and do the time will be three seconds. So at the very end, I want it to go back to the negative 70 part. So now I'm going to click F on the keyboard. You'll see all three of them. And I don't want it to kind of look too stagnant, like a line where my ax is just going at, a, at the same speed the entire time. So I'm just going to hover over each of them and hit three on the keyboard, or you can hover over a point, right click or right click on a point and select auto just like this. So it'll kind of slow down at the ends. And then also once it hits the bottom, it'll be a much smoother curve animation. Now I'll go back to my event graph and I'm just going to drag out new track and add this to a make rotator. And in my case, because of how the Cinti asset is, I only want to have it swing on the Y axis. So it goes side to side. X would look very odd because if it was swinging on the X axis, it would just go like this. And we want it to actually just go like this. So I'll reposition that all to zero, 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 because that's what I just said my numbers off of. And now in the update, I'm just going to set relative rotation using that ax mesh as the target. And then I'll just plug in the return value of the make rotator to this new rotation. And now I'm just going to hit compile and save. And all I'm going to want to do is go to my viewport or actually go to the map editor and I'll see how that is. So I'll drag that into the map. So it is our swing ax trap. And when I hit play, you'll see it roaming side to side. And currently it doesn't do any damage, but it does kind of give that camera flicker that we don't want. So in order to stop, I'm just going to go over to the static mesh, look for collision. And I want to change this to custom and I want it to ignore the camera. So now when I hit compile and save and let's position this so that it's supposed to clip the camera. So now it's not going to clip the camera, but it is kind of moving my character. And you'll see when it does overlap my character, the camera's not getting all finicky. So that's exactly what we're looking for. So I'll hit escape to cancel that. Go back to the swing axe trap blueprint. And now in the event graph, I want to do, I want to select this axe and scroll all the way down to events. So when I go to event, I want to do an on component begin overlap. And I'm just going to drag this out and do an apply damage. And then I'll tag or I'll connect the other actor to damage actor. I'll set a base damage of something like 200 and select the damage type to be ACF cut type damage, just because of the shape of this, it does look like a cutting type. And this is pretty much all you need to set this up properly. So now what I'm going to do is, so now what I'm going to do is just go over to my map, hit play, and let's see if this works. So I'll, I'll drag this guy and bait him into this. So now you'll see when he goes over this, So it is damaging me and sometimes it kind of glitches out. So what I'm going to do is actually, oh, so now what I'm going to do is just go over to my trap and then for ax, I'm actually going to customize that collision and I'm just going to do an on collision overlap. So I wanted to overlap. So for the collision presets, I'm actually going to do overlap all. And now when I hit compile, the ax should go through me and just do damage. So just like that, you'll see it doing a ton of damage. I guess 200 is way too much. And yeah. That's exactly how you set up um, a small trap. 
this used to not work properly, but ever since the new update, I forgot to make a video on this and it does work. Editor doesn't crash anymore. And yeah, it's hitting me multiple times, but you can just turn off doing multiple collision damage. And yeah, thanks for watching Code of the Road. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.